was a scene a week ago in our gymnasium as homecoming week here at PTHS culminated with the festive pep rally and of course the crowning of our king and queen. Congratulations to Evelyn Moran and Liam O'Kane on their selections. And while the football team came up short in Saturday's matchup versus Morristown, the Den at Sour was a great week here at PTHS. Hello and welcome to our Friday's show studios. I'm Arianna Massioli. And I'm Ashley Mullings. We are excited to bring you the first episode of our school year. The show is produced by Mr. Tallarico's television production students, and you can find our current and past shows by checking out our YouTube page, as well as following us on Twitter, now known as X, at PTHS underscore TV. Before we get to some of our top stories, we have a few important announcements. Just a reminder that next week is a three-day school week, and all New Jersey schools are closed for November 9th and 10th. Also, Monday night, PTHS is hosting its annual college night here at our auditorium. It is an informative event where students and parents can get answers to those important questions regarding financial aid, scholarships, college planning, and a variety of other topics related to post-secondary education. It's from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. So see your guidance counselor today if you have any questions about the event, which is, again, set for Monday evening in our auditorium. And speaking of events, there's two coming up in the month of November that you won't want to miss. First, on November 13th, Student Council is hosting a volleyball tournament after school here in our gymnasium. It's from 2.30 to 4.30, and you can sign up by scanning the QR code you see on your screen. The cost is $10 per team, or you can sign up as a free agent. Teams will consist of six to eight players. Also, Pemberton's Got Talent is still several months away, but auditions are coming up quickly. They are set for November 28th after school in the auditorium. Anyone interested should scan the QR code you see on your screen, or see Mr. Boschnack or Ms. Sharp. Once again, the PGT auditions are set for November 28th. That's always a fun event. I'm sure these auditions will be filled with some amazing talent. Moving on now, and congratulations to our four PTHS Students of the Month for October. These students were nominated by staff members for their display of our school's core values, which are empathy, perseverance, integrity, and gratitude. This month, the students were nominated by our four school principals. From our freshman class, Mr. Blunt nominated Nathan Bell. Nate has been able to persevere through a difficult course load in his first semester in high school while also taking part in cross country and marching band. From the sophomore class, Haley Carson was nominated by Ms. McCabe. She, po she brings an upbeat, positive attitude and shows gratitude to all of her students and peers. Our junior student of the month selection is Amaya Rupp. Amaya was selected by Ms. Ferguson for her continued display of integrity. She teaches freshman school policies and shows our school's strength as she gives tours to new students. She is also noticeably pleasant to many staff members and fellow students. And finally, our senior selection is Janelle Freegans. Janelle has recently suffered a major loss but has persevered through a difficult time and is on track to graduate in the spring. She is selected by Mr. Dickinson. Congrats to each of those deserving students. Hey, tomorrow is a big day for our PTHS marching band. Mr. Quadrogi and his group have been putting in work since the middle of the summer, and on Saturday, they'll take part in the Atlantic Coast Championships. The team is looking to bounce back from last year and return to the top of their group. Friday Show Cameras caught up with two key members of the group to talk about the weekend's competition, as well as how you can get involved in the van this winter. We are part of TOB, Tournament of Bands. We are a one of the handful of regions I go up to Hershey Park Stadium and perform in Tournament of Bands. We are currently placed in the top 10 of TOB and we hope to win. But it's one of the bigger events that marching band does along with parades that we do in the spring season. While the marching band finishes up its season tomorrow, there is still a chance for you to get involved with the group for its upcoming winter percussion and color guard season. The interest meeting is for indoor percussion and indoor guard. Um, we start our competition season in February, I think, and we practice all throughout the winter. Um, it's on Monday after school at 3 o'clock. Uh, if you want to join, go to the band room and see Mr. Q, and we'll, have a, we'll talk about all the shows that we might be doing. Best of luck to the band this weekend, and hey, it's time for our Friday Show Sports Report. And for that, we turn to our very own Nevea Harvey. Thanks, guys. As you know, we are in between seasons here on the sports front. Fall sports have just ended, and we are still over four weeks away from the kickoff of the winter seasons. But we've got some deserving pro season recognitions for several of the fall athletes. First off, congratulations to girls tennis standout Siani Brown. The sophomore took the title in the first single flight of the season ending Burlington County Scholastic League Open back on October 17th. She also earned first team all BCSL honors after a fantastic season that saw her finish with a 9-1 regular season record. On the field hockey field, the Hornets had five girls recognized with all Freedom Division honors. 
Senior Lily Israel and Junior Leilani Silvers Rosario earned first team spots. While juniors Sarah Ruzica and a pair of seniors, Destiny Holiday and Amaya Sutton were recognized on the Freedom Division second team. And finally, our cross country team had two all division first team selections, freshman Nathan Bell and senior Zion Jackson. Nate also took third place at the year end divisional meet while Zion placed fourth at the event. Additionally, sophomore Jeremy Allen landed on the all division second team. Congrats to all those deserving fall athletes. That's our Friday show sports report. I'm Nevaeh Harvey. Stay tuned. The Friday show will be back after the short break. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Spooky, scary skeletons. Sorry to pick this costume today. Um, I just kind of woke up and was like, I want to be a cowgirl. You hear these zombies shrieking. We're so sorry, skeletons, you're so misunderstood. You only want to socialize. But I don't think we should. A spooky, scary skeleton shouts startling shrilly screams. They'll sneak them, there's a couple of girls, and just won't leave you be. to the show. We are excited for this next segment. It has been a long-standing piece here on the Friday show. We call it the Senior Spotlight. It's pretty simple. We select a deserving senior who makes the most of their time in our building. Someone who stays involved, works hard in the classroom, and makes a positive impact on themselves and those around them. This week we sat down with a three-sport athlete who is now also a member of the National Honor Society, a peer student ambassador, and a member of our student council, and of course excels in the classroom. PTHS, meet Cole McGreevy. My name is Cole, and this is my Senior Spotlight. Listen, seeing you got ritualistic, cleansing my soul of Uh, some of my favorite high school memories has to be with football. Football's always been great. Uh, just going out there and grinding out with my brothers. And Green and White Knight, I'm just a very competitive person. So Green and White Knight, being a captain last year, uh, it just brings out that competitiveness in me. And uh, it was just really fun to get involved in that sort of thing. I feel like Mr. Hodge and Mr. Scott have definitely had big influences on me just as a person, uh, just to help me grow, whether it's on the field with Coach Scott or just as a person with like Mr. Hodge and just becoming a better me. Uh, some things I'm involved in is football, uh, both spring and winter track. Uh, I'm a PSA, I'm on the class board, I'm involved in student council, just random different things like that. My plans after high school is to attend Syracuse and double major in sports analytics and sports management. And then from there, possibly go and work for a professional sports team. Listen. So my mom was really strict with like, she wanted to keep me close, and uh, I was looking for schools for sports broadcasting. And Syracuse was not only rated the best, like has the best sports broadcasting program, but it also is close. Um, so I just felt like it was the right fit for me, and then I went there for a college visit, and just like the vibe from that uh, community is just really great. And I don't know, I feel like it fits me well. I'm looking forward to like branching off, becoming my own person, uh, you know, being able to get money now, like, you know, chase the bag, and then, um, you know, a little partying on the side, outside of school. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I wish I got involved earlier on, like my freshman, sophomore year. And uh, I wish this past football season definitely could have changed some things there. Uh, I feel like because I'm heavily involved in sports, I can lean on my teammates. Uh, for a few, like Sean Lake, Amos, like I'm able to just go out there and go grind out with them and lock in and just work on perfecting our crafts. My senior quote, currently I don't have one, but I'm looking at Philippians uh, 4.13. My favorite sports team, gotta be the New York Jets. Gotta be. Uh, my pregame song is probably My Life from J. Cole. My pregame meal is a Wawa hoagie, uh, turkey with mayo, hot peppers, lettuce, tomato. Uh, definitely to just have fun. You're in high school just for four years. Uh, this is your way to like branch out, find out what you want to do. Definitely get involved. Uh, just have fun with it, honestly. I'm Cole and that was my senior spotlight. Thanks, Cole, and shout out to our Friday show producers, Victor Santiago and Sean Lake, for putting together that spotlight. We are just about out of time here on the show, but just before we go, we have another reminder that next week is a three-day week with all New Jersey schools closed on Thursday and Friday. Also, don't forget about the College Financial Aid Night being held here today in our auditorium on Monday at 6.30. It's a great chance for parents and students to gain valuable information on sometimes complicated process. And finally, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at PTHS underscore TV, as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel that can be found by searching the PTHS Friday Show. For our entire show crew, I'm Ashley Mullings. And I'm Arianna Masioli. Have a great weekend.